Hello friends, welcome to the next part in block series on developing an OCR Vision AI. Welcome back. If you have been following along, you know that this video series is all about building a simple chatbot Vision AI application. By the end of this block series, our final product is going to look exactly like this application what I'm displaying on my screen. In earlier episodes, we covered the basic fundamentals of the Vision AI application, including its solution design and architecture. We also explored essential components like file drop, cron jobs, SQLite, ChromaDB, and files vector databases. Today, we are going to take a big step forward. We'll focus on building the core functionalities of our, of our application, the parts that bring everything together. This includes writing generic functions to support tasks like running inferences on Ulalama LLM models, working with PyPDF, and Tesseract for OCR. And we are going to see how to leverage vision models. We'll also write getter and setter methods to handle data in SQLite and Chroma vector database. Before diving in, I want to emphasize that functions we are going to write today are only meant for prototype. This code is not production ready. For real world application, you'll likely use frameworks or AI agents tools like Crew AI, Langchain, OpenAI Swarm, or Microsoft Autogen. In future videos, as we will dive deeper into AI agents, particularly in use cases like fraud detection, supply chain management, contract handling, or time and expense monitoring systems, those are some advanced topics. And for now, we are sti sticking to the basics, so make sure to follow me on GitHub, YouTube, and X to stay updated on more complex projects. So for now, let's concentrate on completing our Vision AI app. Let's get started. Setting up Olorama on your local machine. Please see, I have already covered this topic in extensive details in past. And if you want to know more about this, please visit my X profile or YouTube video playlist. This series covers Llama model setups, tokenizer, embedding, and a lot more in extensive details. These scripts demonstrate how to set up and use locally hosted Olama models for natural language processing tasks. So let's go through it line by line. To install Olorama and Llama models locally on Windows, First, you need to download the Olorama binaries or exe from this website. Just browse to https olorama.com forward slash download. And if you want to install it on Linux, just issue that command saying curl curl hyphen f ssl and for give this path olorama.com front slash install dot sh. What sh does is a shell script is going to first is going to curl that means it's going to download that installable and then it's going to execute it and pipes the download script to the shell for execution. So that's how you install Olorama on your Linux machine. Then if you want to list the available models, just type Olorama list on a simple terminal window. This command shows all the models correctly installed on your machine. Now to download a specific model to a local machine for use, just issue a command saying Olorama pull phi3 colon mini. Or if you want to install a model, say Llama 3.3, just open this a terminal window and type Olorama pull Llama 3.3. Or if you want some embedding model, just say Olorama pull MXBAI hyphen embed hyphen large. And then again, when you want to recheck the installed models, just issue the command again saying Olorama list. If you run this command, it's going to show all the models that have been downloaded successfully. Now, how do you run a model? So running a model, Olorama run Llama 3.3. It starts the session with Llama 3.3 model, making it ready to accept input and provide output. Now let's move on to the Python scripts. Here you write import Olorama. This imports the Olorama Python library, which provides a simple interface to interact with the models. Now if you want to send a chat message, then here you simply write response equals to Olorama.chat. And as you can see, chat accepts a couple of the parameters. First parameter is equal to model. Model equals to Llama 3.3. Again, you can um, you can use any of the other models what you have already installed. Second parameter is the messages. Again, as you can see in messages, you pass a JSON object. First is the role, other is the content. Role is of type user, and the contact is content is which you want to you know chat with. So, for example, here I'm saying rephrase this sentence, and you can pass any sentence you want. So finally, you, when you call olorama.chat method, 
So what it does, it sends a message to the specified model, which is Lama 3.3 in our case, and gets a response back. And as you saw, there are the parameters model equals to Lama 3.3, which specifies the models to use. And messages, again, is a list of the dictionaries representing a conversation. Now, each dictionary has one role, role of the message senders. So in our case, this is user, it could be an assistant. So again, role equals to user or role equals to assistant. Now inside the content, here you pass the actual message. This specific message asks the model to refresh the sentence. So here it's just going to the Lama chat model and it's saying refresh the sentence. Now, once this is done, it extract the refresh content from the response and simply prints it back. So at the last are you seeing response, message and content. What is doing, it accesses the generated output text. And output is when you run the script, it displays the refresh sentence in the terminal. Setting up a QC, that is quality control Gen AI generic function on your local machine. Now, since we have already installed Llama models, now let's write one generic function to support our Vision AI. Before we start calling Ulama Gen AI functions, let's learn about few basics. This is a sample instruction one. So in first instruction, please respond in one word only, true or false. Here's another instruction. Return SQL or schema only and nothing else. Similarly, here's another instruction. Answer, but only in JSON format. So for example, person is Joe Biden, employee ID equals to ABC something and email ID equals to joe.biden at whitehouse.org. So just like instructions, here is one context which provide meaningful additional information to our Gen AI models. In this example, context equals to you are a helpful assistant with advanced SQL coding skills. Second context is, I just use a PI PDF to read content of a file and I want to make sure that this text appears to be a valid acceptable text. And here's the text. Now we are ready to generalize this QC agents function. So where I'm going with this? So actually I want to write a generic function, say QC agent AI, which takes three parameters. Please see, first of all, before we proceed any further, this is extremely poor quality code and not meant for production. It must be refactored when we implement agent framework. But because for now, our application is very, very small and for prototype is going to work just fine. So now let's go back to the context instruction and actual text, what we learned just now. So we need to run an inference on Llama models using Olalama and return the results, as simple as that. So what this function is going to do is going to serve as a brain for our entire Vision AI application. We'll call this function over and over again to run inferences, ask questions about it, make decisions based on the data. So for example, if I'm going to say, hey, return true or false. So based on the true condition or based on the false condition, I make, uh, I can make some functions, uh, take some decisions and run if and else statement on this. Similarly, then in this case, don't tie yourself to using one Olalama models. So here simply, if you want to use OpenAI models, refactor this code. So here are some sample in case if you're interested. Now, if you want to use OpenAI API, this code walks you through in case if you want to use OpenAI chat GPT models to replace Olalama hosted models. Similarly, if you want to use this code to Anthropic uh, Cloud A API, you can use this code and replace it to the original function. And here you'll be able to use Anthropic Cloud A and other GNI models to replace Olorama models here. Similarly, at the last, if you want to use Google Gemini AI API. So same thing, you can make use of the same function and just replace the content with the Google Gemini AI API. So finally, you will be able to use Gemini models to replace Olorama hosted models here. So point here is make this function generic enough so that you can easily switch to the best API model at any given point of time. And this is why I mentioned about using agents. If you are using agents based framework, ideally we'll come back and refactor this code later on when we productionalize this. But for now, this code is good enough to solve our purpose and work as a good QC agent function for now. That's all I wanted to achieve in this video today. So just to recap, in this block today, we have set up a generic Gen AI model function, which works as a valid decision maker agent in our application. So, so far we have seen in all of the videos, we have covered only basic components. We have designed basic tiny little functions, which just individual tasks. 
and in the next video is going to be very very interesting one because next video what we are going to do we are going to take all of those components and we are going to put it all together and finally you will see how these individual pieces fit together to to serve in our vision ai application so please stay tuned and if you have any issues please open an issue lock in my github repository and i'll be happy to help you out thank you very much